Hello. In a previous video, we discussed how to create and edit global plies. And in this video, we discuss how to post process laminate results which make use of global plies. In this model, we have a composite fitting. The blue elements are made up of a six ply layup, and the purple elements are made up of a 10 ply layup. We already have results, analysis results, for 16 different load cases. But before we look at any of the results, let's first review our layups. The 10 ply layup is an alternating 45 0 45 pattern that is a symmetric 10 ply laminate of a plain weave carbon fabric material. It's defined by global plies 1 through global ply 10. The 6 ply layup is the same pattern but simply global plies 3 through 8. Now let's toggle to post processing. Change the contour style to contour. We will leave the output set on load case 1 and we can change the vector that we're plotting to laminate ply 1 x normal stress. When we look at the x normal stress it's important to note right first that under transform you set your plate force stress and strain to material direction and under data conversion you could change the averaging and here you have an option to average across property boundaries across material boundaries although there's no material change here layers color or angles so in this case we will let it average across the boundary it's important to note that at the boundary of the corner pad between the 10 ply laminate and the 6 ply laminate when we're viewing ply 1 x normal stress, we're actually viewing x normal stress in the local ply. That means if we pull up our layups again, ply 1 of the 10 ply layup is ply 1 global ply 1. But for the 6 ply layup, what we're actually looking at are results in the first ply, ply 1 of the 6 ply layup, which is global ply 3. Right? So we're actually looking at stresses in two different plies. So in discontinuous plies. To fix that, we can go back to post-processing under contour results, laminate results from, there's a drop-down menu. Here we can select which global ply we want to plot data for. So for instance, if I select global ply 1, we are now looking at x normal stress from global ply 1. Global ply 1 only exists for the corner pad elements, and therefore we only see a contour, contour data in these regions. If I toggle to global ply 2, same thing, only in the corner pads. If I toggle to global ply 3, we now see contour data across the entire part, and this is from global ply 3, so it's ply 3 of the corner pad elements and ply 1 for all the other elements. But these uh, stress, this stress data, x normal stress, is in a single continuous ply. And that is why global plies are used in Nastrian. The global, adding global plies to the PCOMP definition doesn't change the math that is done. The stiffness formulation of your 6 ply laminate elements and your 10 ply laminate elements are the same. But the global plies allow you to track and post process the data in this manner. So you can actually look at stresses in a continuous ply at the same time. This concludes our summary of post-processing using global plies. Thank you.